So what I want to talk about today is how packaging works in Odoo and how you'll be able to package products on the delivery order in order to put package them in unique packages as well as calculate cost of shipping per each package and print out specific product labels per each package. So what we can do is we are able to go in and sell something as we would standard. Right? And I'm just going to go through this rather quickly because there's plenty of other videos I've created in the past which review this. And we'll add some products. And I'm going to add uh, what's going to be called big product. I'm going to add two units of it. And we're going to sell it $100 a unit. And I'll get the rate. And as you know, Odoo will calculate the, uh, the rate according to the product's weight and volume and quantity. And we'll be able to add this to the order. Right from there. Perfect. Go through. And once we confirm generates our delivery order as we know. And if I go into the delivery order, here's where the magic happens. So traditionally what you can do is you can just validate this order and Odoo will print out one shipping label for these two units uh, and you'll slap it on your box and ship it out the door. Now, what if you don't work that way? What if you wanna be able to organize and say, well, I put these products in this package and this product in this package and, and things like that. That's where packaging comes into play. Here, you'll be able to select just to start it one quantity and you're going to say, put this in a pack. And I get to choose here, select your delivery packaging. And if we open this up, we'll see there's a bunch of pre-configured options. I configured a few examples for us here. And I'll be able to select my shipping weight for this package. And it's also, it's within this delivery packaging that you predefine. Or you can create a new one on the fly, as you can see here. And you create a new package type, which has the carrier associated to it, the height, the weight, uh, excuse me, the width, the length, and the max weight allowed in the package. And you can also ascribe a barcode to this package. I'm going to name this big, big, big package and save it. And I'll be able to, as you, I've mentioned before, define my shipping weight for that specific package here. Now, I'll see my packages are all up here. So all packages related to this specific order have been specified up here. And I can drill into that, see my pack number 14 right through there. I can also... Now add my second quantity here. I can also do it this way, right? I can put this in an existing pack or I can create a new pack. And if I want to create a new pack, all I do is I select my package type, right? We have our big, big, big package, which predefines the dimensions as we talked about before. And I select my weight for this new package, maybe three. So at that point, you'll see I have my two packages for those two products and a big product and I confirm it. You're also going to notice on the sale order, and I'm gonna step back here for a second. On the sale order, we have a total, uh, the weight of the shipment is roughly, I believe it's two pounds based on what I specified on the product. Let's actually drill in and check it out. Yep, one kilogram weight. So, and I have two units, meaning I should have a total of two kilograms that I'm shipping. And if I go into here, I'll see the weight on the sale order was two. However, the weight for shipping is now four. Why is it four? Because Odoo is actually taking the true uh, weight from each pack. I can see here shipping weight is one, and I can see here shipping weight is three. That equals four. And once I have that, that's my true shipping cost for those. It's going to calculate my true shipping cost when I ping my FedEx server in a second when I validate this for these packages to ship. And once I validate it, you're gonna see it's going to generate two tracking numbers, one, two, and it's gonna generate a shipping label with two labels on it, one, two, each for each pack. And that is how Odoo is going to be able to actually manage multiple tracking. You can see here I can, have my tracking as well, which if I allow block up uh, pop-ups here, it will let me check that out. And it probably won't work because it's a test, right? But there'll be two of those and you'll be able to see your pricing and all that right through there. Um, it'll take you to your FedEx account. But you get the idea. So this is how all this would be handled. Um, you can also see your cost here specified for the specific shipment. So it actually cost me $107.79 based on the configuration I have of the dimensions and the weight uh, and the weight specified. So 
this is how Odoo will allow you to have a lot of flexibility and a lot of control over how you're delivering products, how you're packaging them, and what the weights are of those unique package configurations that you put together each and every day. Now, what I showed you is how it works in our standard desktop version. There's also a mobile barcode app, which allows you to do this with a hand, uh, what I call a mouse-free sort of workflow, where it would just be done with a barcode scan gun, um, and you'll be just plugging your weights there. So if you have any additional questions on how this works or you want more information, you just reach out to me and I'll be happy to help you. My contact information is in the description of the email. Uh, excuse me, the description of the video. Thanks so much. Have a great day.